Y2K land, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. That boy Mike Wong been tweeting. I say that boy Mike Wong been tweeting. <laughs> Answering all the questions that he can do, man, and we are going to go over that. We're gonna go over the stuff that he recaptioned and retweeted today, and uh, kind of answered directly. Tomorrow we'll go over some more stuff. The rest of the week we'll be going over the, the sections that he broke down, mainly defense, because we got to go over that, man. We're gonna do all of that for you guys today. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment your thoughts down below, and also consider going by my site, Breeze Tees, man. Check it out. We got all the stuff, all these shirts for y'all, man. Y'all know we're trying to get this thing going to the moon, Alice. Also, if you got your own business, maybe you sell t-shirts, we print out transfers for y'all and all this stuff, man. If you don't like nothing that we got on the site, um, just hit me up on, you know, email or whatever if you want to check out something. If, you, if, you, if we ain't got nothing that you want on the site, man, check it out. Boom. Make your own shirt. Bow! shirt hat whatever it is we got you like i said and if you got a difficult print or something like that hey we, we take care of that too man we can we can print that out for you do all that stuff man and without further ado uh let's get ready to rumble hey, i also gotta hit my boy jay nail up man because uh like i said me he and i was talking and he was the original gym star owe him a couple of shirts don't worry about it i got you big dog and without further ado let's get right into it man so we just gonna go backwards this is this is right up to the minute right up to the second man like one of the joints it was like two minutes ago so we just gonna go through this this is what somebody asked man how do the defense how, how do the defensive adrenaline bars work? And it's, it's, I'm, it looks like it's a lot like this year. Steals and block attempts will consume adrenaline bars on defense. First bar, uh, first bar gone equals 20% gone, or 20% of the rating gone. Second bar, 40% nerf. Third bar, 75% nerf. And it's just, so that's pretty much just like it was this year. We've all, we all noticed, like me, Gambit, Brute, all of us, we were saying, listen, your first bar seems like it's your best bar on defense so the first time you reach on defense boom you, you you might get it and if you don't get it after that you might as well stop reaching because you're not you're definitely not going to get it after that and so that's something that we that we kind of noticed but i'm glad he put a number on it man because when you put a number on stuff it helps people understand exactly what's going on big kudos to mike up up next a veritable shot timing has been toned down in nba 2k24 also we have the shot timing impact shooting attribute uh, to to shooting timing stability. We changed it to shooting time and stability. High stability grades will further dampen the effects of fatigue slash defense on your shot speed, man. And uh, you know, somebody asked, you know, what is gonna be is strictly green or miss? And he said, yeah, it's green or miss. A W W and he says, uh, will instant green jump shot land his return or uh, green or you know so, you know the instant green jump shot landing. Obviously they didn't say that. And he said W fix up uh, fix W fix, y'all can't handle having that feature in NBA 2K because the game literally gave you random shot timers, uh, even though even when few, even when full stamina randomly. Only decent players knew this. Yeah, we already did. We, like you, you'll get a decent, you'll get a different shot timing, but we already know why they did that. They did that to get rid of the people that were zenning. So I gave y'all the shot timings and how to hit more shots. If he, if he caught the ball and it was here, it was going to be the quick shot timing. Other than that, if he caught the ball, it's going to be the regular shot time if it was below his waist, man. So, you know, I've been giving y'all the tips. Y'all just don't watch the videos. The people that watch the videos, y'all in the know, but a lot of people, they don't watch the videos, so they're not in the know. Mike also says, uh, for both layup and the dunk meter, if you have if you have a pretty open lane, the green window is much bigger in two, in 2K24. And that was just like that uh, in this one. But it shrinks fast the heavier the traffic. And again, on Hall of Fame and competitive online, you have to green your dunks uh, dunks to make them. And that's something that we said, man. We've been waiting on that green or miss on the dunks, man. It's just been something that we just, it's, it's one of those things that nobody liked. Like it didn't show skill that people could come through there and late in very late dunks and stuff like that. So it looks like that we're squeezing the offensive window. I hope that we're not improving the defense by dampening the offense but you know it, it, it is what it is man he says you know uh, they could ask a couple more questions um but you know he didn't answer that i'm just going by what mike said because we try for the sake of time he said hey your opponents your opponents and teammates won't see your shot meter online in nba 2k24 but my advice is to turn off the shot meter as soon as you learn your timing shot meter off increases your green window size by 20 percent hey like that boy t mizzle will say 20 percent hey man listen so that's dope 
that we no longer will see somebody shot. Because we knew, that, that, let me tell y'all why that's important. Because a lot of people turned the shot meter off or they wanted to use it, but they felt like they could, they, they didn't want to use it. The reason that they didn't want to use it is because people would see them miss and they would just take off and it gave them like a, it gave them an advantage on the runouts and stuff like that. So, hey, uh, you know, it is what it is. And also he says, hey, whites will not go in on Hall of Fame, Rick or park he's not saying not at all but you know he's gonna he's saying you know they, they won't go in for the most part here hey he's a hey, uh let me see can 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 I, i'm not even gonna try to read he just says at baluba uh let me let me get this going right here he says at baluba uh how do i draw files in wreck is there an emphasis on the skill that you can purposely do it you know i guess can you can you all can you do it he's just saying hey we spend a lot of time on this on this and it's way better this year. If you fake and get the defender to bite, you can draw a foul and get an and get an and one way more reliably. Also, if blockers jump wildly for no reason, they'll land uh, they'll land on the ball handlers and can uh and can get called for fouls. That's something dope, man. Like uh, cuz I, I I me and Brute go back if y'all think we agree on everything. I agree with him. I mean, I agree with Mike on this one. Like, I get tired of people jumping at me and just jump. Like, I'm out there. I'm set up. The dude goes down to the free throw line. He jumps from the free throw line, and he makes my shot difficult. And I feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. And I feel like they should get called for fouls. Brute say you should get called for the foul unless unless they make it so you can challenge, you know, left or right. Maybe they're going to leave it up to challenger or what have you. Um, and We'll just see. But I'm just like... It should it should decrease the amount of pinches that people are able to do because people are not gonna be able to just jump recklessly from the free three free throw line or whatever. You know, we're gonna have like something like reckless closeouts, I guess. It says, are the swishes back in NBA 2K24? Not every make will be a swish because green or miss would uh would be would be a swish on every shot. But yeah, a lot of there are a lot more switches to NBA 2K24. I'm pretty sure no one will complain about the occasional uh, rim in or what have you. So that's gonna be dope. Hey, one person says uh, he's asking, uh, what does he say? He says at Baluba, will the signature movement styles be available in my career on 2K24? He says yes, uh, uh, yes, and Pro Play has given us a ton more. I think we're up to we're I think we're up from 2K23's 37 to about 156 now. And that's, uh, you know, that, uh, dang, 150, uh, from to 150 from what? That's gonna be dope. So like, hey, I think Power's gonna say it best right here. 150 is gonna be months before I figure out, you know, what animation I can use or what have you say. Perfectly balanced in every way, especially when, you know, hey, it is what it is. We're gonna see how that goes, man. He says, how are FaZe looking this year? FaZe got a buff in the mid range and a big nerf. In the three at the three man so people gonna be hating that man hey black cobra be like that hey like you said hey you see you see here we got the exact they ran rubbing them hands together like bird man man that's all we ever wanted we don't care if people fade in mid-range we we want you to we want you to do all that stuff in the mid-range be free to be able to i want you to be free to do what you want and just be able to play the game but from three to be able to base a strategy around fading from three is asinine it just is mike says uh generally generally all advanced shot uh advanced shot types spins step backs got a buff in the, in the mid range and all of the advanced layups euros floaters reverses uh hops hops spins uh quick scoops all that got a buff too try to mix up your arsenal scoring moves and you'll be rewarded and that's dope right there man because you can't you, hey look like a hey, hey, black cobra doggone crime but it's gonna be nice to see that not every bucket is just a dunk or a three-pointer man i think that's gonna be cool man it says hey somebody says what does he say this is jay he says at baluba are you green are green animations going to pop every time and when i green it is there is it going to switch uh be consistent he says yes you'll get your you'll get your shot celebration um every time on every made green outside of 15 feet so that's pretty cool man like if you're shooting threes you're gonna get that shot animation i don't think it was a big deal to me but a lot of people they wanted to see it a lot more this year you had to hit like three shots in a row before he was gonna do it um i think that there's a way that they can find a happy medium i don't need to see it every time but i mean it's cool to see it so i, I can't get mad people want to see be, want to see it. he says dang that kind of sucks i like the suspense of not knowing if the shot was going to go in now people are gonna cherry pick like crazy and he says there's a slight delay on the animation as well uh as the feed as well as the feedback so the suspense will still be there and he just says our greens uh instant this year but you know he, he just said that uh power he said you know it's not gonna be there so it is what it is hey uh one person says 
at Baluba, is there a, is, is there any chance that the shot can I mean changes to the shot contest system? And so he says the shot contest system changed a lot. This might the main highlight greater emphasis on body position instead of just hand location. I love it. So if you're trailing somebody, if I'm on your hip, if I'm in front of your body, you can't just bring the ball straight up. You have to bring it up in and, and, and different ways. So I think it's going to be dope uh, instead of it's just hand location. Uh, big reason for the ghost contest complaints last year, heavier penalties for being crowded at the start of a shot, less for out of uh, less for out of position, late closeouts. And I can dig that, man. Like, I, hey, that's, that's something that I want to see anyway. I want to be able to take these shots. I don't want people to be able to close out late and be able to reliably do that. Uh, do that to me. Hey, one person. Hey, who is this? This is uh, this is dumb. Dumb. He says at Baluba. Uh, since layup timing is important better this year, will there be an option to have just layup meter on? And he says, yeah, lots of uh, lots of new controller settings this year, separate toggle toggles for shots, layups, free throws, as well as control uh, control type shots. Uh, what's that pro stick, uh, the pro stick button. You can also reposition and resize just about every on screen element, shot meter, player indicator, fatigue bar, all that good stuff, man. Hey, we got another one. He says, At Baluba, has there been a buff in paint defense? Tired of being tired of being put on a poster uh when I'm as when I'm in good position for a SWAT respectfully. And so he just says paint defense has a major focus and was and was and was reported as the biggest gameplay improvement for, from uh, our external playtest sessions. I think that we have we have a really good balance with it now. And that's all we can really ask for is to have a good balance with it, man. And that's, that's gonna be perfect, but just the effort, putting that effort in, I, I can't get mad at that, man. They're putting in the effort, they're gonna put in the effort, man. Hey. Here we go up next, we got, he's at, at uh, this is a Beto, he says, at Baluba, with the custom jump shots that we make, that we make in the jump shot creator, will there be Will that be still be the grades, you know, to the attributes and all of that good stuff? Pretty much what he says. He says it's it's to your benefit to create a jump shot with the highest grades you can, but you can still be successful with lower grade shots. And uh, we, we we proved that this year. Defensive immunity is one I particularly recommend paying attention to. I can have, I mean, it can have a strong, it can have a stronger effect than most think. And so, you know, we had that last year. We talked about that. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff in the shot was cool, but some of the stuff, it seems like it didn't matter. T'Challa says, At oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. At Baluba. Please tell me, please tell me <laughs> if it depends on your build. You can't just access to all the takeovers with the stats and badges. That uh, that just uh, that's just crazy. He just says rating. Baluba just says ratings and boosts. Uh, ra ratings and boosts you you get with the takeover selection just stacks on top of what you already have. If you have a dog, if you have a dog uh, rebounding rating, for example, selecting the defensive rebounding take will be uh, let me see will make you a little less of a bomb on the <laughs> bro. He would have, he must want to say if you have a dog. Sh rebound rating for example selecting the defensive rebound and take will make you less of a bomb on on the boards but you'll still kind of be a bomb bomb so what he's saying is the take ain't gonna save you this year man it, it'll be cool but it's not gonna save you so hey i'm with that man hey uh he also says for those asking what the rate is you need to be consistent depends on your skill and your shot iq some will be deadly with a 75 three-pointer uh while others will will go one for ten Try out the best, uh, try out the build tester or the 2KU while, while different NBA players on Hall of Fame with different NBA players on Hall of Fame to get an idea of what uh, you need for your build. So that's dope right there, man. Hey, he said the LeBron build is bite. Hey, up next, yeah, we don't even know what they said. Tweets are unavailable, but he said ball saves. Ball saves are solid. I, I thought that we were good in NBA 2K23, but blocks got a buff in 2K24, but not, um, not to the 2k22 level so that's cool right there so it's gonna be better interior but you're not just gonna swat everything like 22 so that's cool right there i don't remember that but say hey, hey it is what it is hey chrome says has anyone asked a question regarding shot time and very late all the you know all that stuff he said this is a court side this is the court side report that option has been changed to the shot time and visual cue you you now pick the the point in the animation that you want to, that you want to the ideal release instead of an arbitrary tie up timing. So jump, set point, push, or release. And y'all already know that I like it. I like it right here in front or 
or over the shoulder, you know, with that Paul George right there. We just got a couple more tweets, man. We going through it, man. We almost there. Hey, he says, uh, at Baluba. Is that, are, are the takeover perks still in the game? He says, yes, but some of the OP ones have been toned down. Hey, you can't get mad at that, man. We, that's, it is what it is, man. Bass Plug says, at Baluba, does shooting have a, have a pure green window in 2K24 like in 2K19? If you had a, a certain rating, a certain jump shot timing, and the shot and shot the and and the right shot meant it always was green. And he says yes. The the green window is pure and will be a guaranteed make if you hit it. Heavily contested shots will still look like full whites missed, but that's just an artificial. Uh, that's just an artifact of the art. There will be there will always be po be a possible a possibly sub pixel size green window in every jump shot okay so that's cool right there man you might not even be able to see it so you said you might not even be able to see it but it's gonna be there and so he, he responded to bash plug hey a q said kwan says it's all animations going are, are all animations going to be available at the start or will the season thing well you know will it be a season thing again and he says uh there there will still be some seasonal releases but the vast majority of the gameplay animations will be available on day one 2k24 also featured the largest uh yoy sig animations uh on sig animation upgrade we've done it recent we've done it we've done in recent memory thanks to pro play and so what you say 2k24 also has the okay well that's gonna be dope man that's gonna be dope you're gonna have a lot more stuff uh tampa tampa says uh at baluba is there is every shot greenable or will we still have full bars that will just miss well, the green window size is it purely is you know purely rating or whatever whatever so he says i, I answered this previously in a previous tweet but yes every shot that's not 100 percent smothered is greenable window size determined by a ton of factors defensive rating badges uh badges being the primary drivers but don't worry contested shots are very hard to knock down on higher difficulties so hey it's gonna be there we got two more man here we go hey since no one asked and this is what mike says since no one asked you can also meter dunk standing dunks into wow in 2k24 but it's really hard to pull off at the moment work in progress so that's gonna be dope that's gonna be dope right there so you can get them them, them mean putbacks like me and my boy rent we play and uh just like i forgot what my, what my guy name but man and uh me and fat be playing in obsidian he loved to do stuff like that so you know we'll see how that goes last but not least a b says what are the at Baluba, what are some what are some things we should look for as far as dribbling goes? And he says, try, try out defensive breakdown combos. These are a hundred, I mean, there are a hundred to choose from. That's crazy. Sig double crosses and equipable. I mean, are equipable. Sig double crosses are equipable now. Standing snatchbacks uh, has changed and is now tied to the Sig step back package. Definitely learn how to use the blowout properly. Branch generally, uh, branch generally way, branching generally way more responsive in NBA 2K24. So when he's saying branches is generally more responsive in NBA 2K24, all he's saying is that you can break out of moves at more different points. So that's dope, man. Like, listen, I love when Mike come to tweet, man. Like he said, like it's it's, it's just like a uh, man on fire. It all sounds good. We absolutely have no idea how it's actually going to play. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully it sounds good. But like I said, we just going to wait and see. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.